Corey, 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 Corey. Keen. Corey Keen says, I've watched 387 of your videos, but as a noob, I'm still failing to understand how to properly match a flight controller and an ESC. Do they all work together? So, uh, Corey, the simplest thing to do is for you to buy a flight controller and ESC together as a stack. Okay? That will ensure that they are made to work together and, and avoid any weird little issues that could cause you to not work. Uh, any ESC can be made to work with any flight controller. But how many hoops do you have to jump through? That's the question. So the most common thing you have to do if you buy mismatched ESC and flight controller is that the plug that goes from the flight controller to the 4-in-1 ESC is not pinned out the same and you have to literally rearrange the wires in the plug that goes between them to make them work together. It's not the end of the world but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Knowing where to put the wires also requires a little bit of thinking, but in general, there's a VBAT wire, there's a ground wire, there's a motor 1, 2, 3, 4 wire, and there are a couple other wires, but usually those wires are matched between the flight controller and the ESC. It's just they're in a different order on the ESC than the flight controller, and so you have to rearrange the wires so they go where they're supposed to go. Um... There are a few things that can make an ESC just not be compatible. These are rare, but I'm going to list them off for you so you have some idea of what I'm talking about. Most flight controllers today expect to get battery voltage from the ESC, and the flight controller has a built-in regulator, a voltage regulator that it uses, to step that battery voltage down to 5 volts and 3.3 volts, which is typically what the flight controller wants. Well, typically always what the flight controller wants internally. There are a few flight controllers out there, like the hobby, some Hobbywing flight controllers. Expect the 5 volt regulator to be on the ESC. Why did Hobbywing do this? I have no idea. They put the 5 volt regulator on the ESC, and then the flight controller has a 5 volt input from the ESC and the flight controller doesn't have a 5 volt regulator on board. If you try and pair a Hobbywing flight controller with a non-Hobbywing ESC, that ESC is not going to have a 5 volt regulator on board and the Hobbywing ESC simply can't work unless you have an external 5 volt regulator that you wire in. Don't do that. So there are a few rare cases where an ESC and a flight controller simply won't work together, but for the most part, for the most part, they'll work together. Pretty much whatever. But the best thing to do is to buy the same thing, the stack, the flight controller and ESC, from the same manufacturer so you can be confident they'll just plug in and you don't have to mess around.